If you ever go on a hiking trip in Cape Town, South Africa, chances are you'll see a warning sign alerting you to be careful of baboons in the area. But are baboons actually that dangerous? Ooh, oh, no. <laughs> well, you'll learn quickly that you shouldn't take these warning signs lightly. They aren't just a mild inconvenience or a nuisance, they can cause serious harm. Just take a look at this baboon. This baby Impala was enjoying its day until this baboon popped out of nowhere to steal it. The poor mommy Impala tries to save her little one, but it seems the baboon has some plans. What happens next? Well, you'll have to stick around to find out. These dangerous animals typically live in African savannas and woodlands. But they're pretty adaptable ground-dwelling animals and can live in virtually any environment. That is, as long as the place has water and a safe place to sleep, which is all anyone wants, right? Sometimes, however, they encroach upon urban areas. Just check out this video. This unlucky family decides to stop on the road, probably because of some trouble with the engine. Or maybe they saw something interesting. The baboons nearby see something interesting too. It just happens to be the car the family's sitting in. They open the doors themselves and hijack the vehicle. To add insult to injury, they steal all the food, poop in the car, and run off with their belongings. The audacity! But that barely scratches the surface. The situation has seriously gotten out of hand in Cape Town, with baboons taking humans for easy pickings, raiding their kitchens for food, and sometimes even hurting children. It might take them around six hours to find food in their natural habitat, but a human kitchen is basically an all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet in a hotel. And who doesn't love those? Baboons can find enough food to feed themselves for a week if they raid our kitchens. A month if it's an especially big family or if someone's having a party. They have a foolproof system in place to raid, too. They sit silently and watch. They'll spot something in the area they fancy and take the time to understand the landscape. They know which house has how much food and what kind, too. They know which homes have dogs so they can avoid them if required. They probably even know which kids are sneaking out of their homes after bedtime. Nothing escapes them. And once they have everything they need, they attack. And like we've seen, they fear nothing. They've gotten so bold that they'll open the doors and carjack your car while you're sitting in it. The Cape of Good Hope in South Africa has been home to baboons for millions of years. It's only recently also become home to human residents drawn to its beauty. The baboons are now slowly being squeezed out of their territory, and some are choosing to fight back. Let me give you a piece of advice. Never leave your home unlocked in South Africa, and instead of telling you why, I'm going to show you why. They bravely jump into homes, gardens, scout through your garbage cans and kitchens for food, and then move on to the next victim. Wondering what happened to that baby Impala? Don't worry, we'll tell you now. It's probably been a long day of looting homes and punching babies for him, and the baboon just wants to unwind with a good meal before his nap. So it takes the baby Impala atop a big stone and just eats the baby right in front of its mother. Yeah, things are pretty cutthroat out in the wild. Just take a look at this footage from Krakow Zoo. It looks like the chimps are pretty much being bullied by the baboons. They crowd one side of their enclosure and distress the poor chimp, who seems desperate to get as far as possible from the baboons. Isn't it scary how they all just climb on top of each other? At one point, one of the baboons plays dead to distress the chimps further. What kind of psychological warfare is this? The kids watching seem to be enjoying the drama, but the same can't be said for the poor animals. Baboons do have a bit of human DNA, which makes them worthy opponents. And by a bit, I mean 92%. Their stealthy ways make them great spies. Sometimes they'll pop open a window and send a smaller baboon in to go open the door so the rest of the troop can swarm in. How clever is that? I wonder if they picked that up from movies or by watching a real-life burglary in the neighborhood. It's easy to see they don't really respect us. It's even more evident when you see this footage. This couple leaves their car unlocked. A huge mistake, as we've now learned. But who can blame them? They probably just wanted to check out the pretty view. 
they weren't gone five minutes and the baboon jumped into the car. When the couple returned, the baboon went straight for this woman's shirt. Luckily, nobody was seriously hurt. Well, perhaps their pride was. If you ever encounter these guys while hiking, first know that they aren't looking at you as food. They don't want to attack you unless you threaten their territory. The largest of the male baboons will defend their troop, and the way they do that is… pretty scary. Males will show their front teeth as a warning sign first. If you don't get the hint and run away, they'll charge right at you. Now you don't want to mess with flamingos. Long legs, long neck, sharp claws, curved beaks. It takes someone either incredibly brave or incredibly foolish to disturb these birds. Here, a baboon attacks a flamboyance of flamingos. And yes, that's what a group of flamingos is called. They fly about to save their lives from the aggressive animal. Yeah, it must be terrifying for them. But can we take a second to admire how graceful they look even when they're running about like headless chickens? Sorry, focus. The baboon chases them all around, and they all scatter to safety. All except one. As one small flamingo takes flight, the baboon jumps up and catches it mid-air, and he most likely tore it apart just after. So yeah, don't mess with them. If they feel threatened enough to bite you, their teeth can break bone or even kill thanks to their long incisors and incredibly powerful jaws. Monkeys in general are known to be vegetarians and live off the land, but that's not totally true. Sure, there might be some vegan baboons that tell the rest of the troop the benefits of non-dairy milk, but most of them prefer meat. But let's take a second here. As terribly violent as baboons might be, we have to admit our species invaded their space. After all, they are losing their ability to access vast amounts of land that have historically been key to the survival of their kind. I mean, how would you react if your core habitat was diminishing? Well, we won't have to wait long. Global warming will have us swallowed by seas in no time. The general perception is that there are way too many baboons, but the truth is, they've been facing a major population decline. So, what can we do? Well, first, we have to start learning respect for our fellow man, a uh, fellow ape, fellow earthling. We need to understand and raise awareness about baboons wanting to just lead a normal life in their natural habitat. They're not problem animals, so you don't have to deal with them using weapons. And we might see some tremendous change in their behavior towards us if we protect them instead of fighting them. We're all on this earth together, so we all have to look out for each other. Enjoyed this video? Then hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like it. You can go through our channel to learn more about the incredible secrets our nature holds. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.